All right, so I thought I might start this off um, now because it's already 10.30 and I already know how long it's going to take to upload everything. And this will prove that I have everything and, you know, I, I can turn everything to the Pinterest board later or something like that because it's reaching deadlines and, and I need to hurry up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I... I I didn't quite follow the, uh, um, I, I didn't have our rubric at first, and um, it was kind of hard to follow what we were doing for a while, so I did take a little bit of a different path for this character, but, um, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he compensates, I got the cloth in and everything, um, so I have this guy, uh, He's going to have two set texture sets. Um, here, wait, cancel, cancel. Save this. Uh, hadn't saved the whole time, that's not good. But, um, yeah, okay, so I have him. His textures just aren't compiled, that's it. Um, please load, there we go. Um, I would like to work on the textures more, but, uh, I only have, like, a couple of fills that are, like, bumping up the ambient occlusion so far, and I need to get more reds in there, but, um, yeah, there's just a couple, uh, filters that I have going by, but I also have, um, obviously him done, and this guy, um, I'm gonna be posting this up, obviously, uh, I just thought I'd show off what I finished so far. Um, there's only one material on him. It's, you know, just using the material. Um, these are just test materials that I have. Uh, I made a stage as well. Uh, this is only obviously UV and textured 2K, 2K resolution. Um, the zombie's nearly complete, but I just wanted to show off that I at least do have the, uh, cloth and stuff here, I'll, I'll pull up the UVs and everything so that you can tell. Uh, talking really slow. Oh, I actually brought this in a blender on X. <laughs> oh, come on. There's the UVs for that. Um, I just know that the models are going to take forever to load, so I'm trying to get that done as soon as possible, or trying to show this off as soon as possible. Um, and the YouTube video for this is going to take forever as well, but, um, yeah, this textures for this, the hair is separate right now, but, all right there. Um, my process videos I have, oh, I, I know it says to do sculpted hair, but I, I did sculpt the hair, just want to clarify, um, please don't crash. Yeah, I, I sculpted like a base for the hair, but um, ended up making cards for it as well. So he also has eyebrows. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's texture, texture for the thing in the blender file. Or not. Maybe I deleted them on accident? Or are they in here? He has eyelashes. I don't know where his. <laughs> For some reason, his eyebrows are gone, but his eyelashes are there. Um, but yeah, process videos. Um, so I didn't compile them this time, uh, just because that would have taken too long too. But if I go to the MPEG, that's from where I left off last time. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just basically finished everything up. You'll see that I have weapons, a shield and a sword for him. 
Oh, I, you know, I, I wouldn't need to apologize and bake some of the textures with the Z brush and stuff like that, but, um, I don't think we have to watch videos of that, because not much goes on other than projecting and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I was just detailing, making sure that, you know, all the topology matched. Um, where is... Yeah, I, I detailed, you know, the metallics here, like all the accessories, but where's the video with detailing the weapons, detailing the face, I wish I had more time for it, and I, I'm going to go back to the character, I think, but now is not the time. Basically, I to kind of some things. I have a shield and sword, which are going to be in the uh, accessories texture set. And then right here, that's this one and then the shield. This one's UV and ready to go. They're they're both UV and ready to go. 